I didn't think I had to make this video anytime soon, but I am. So, yeah. What's good, everybody? This is H back on another episode of 12 Hub TV, and I'm here to talk about getting rid of a shoe, a grail, a shoe that I actually wanted to keep. Yeah, if you read the title of the video already, you know, like, I... I got two racks for a grail shoe of mine and for most of the viewers of this channel you probably know it's the ISPA Road Warrior Cell Volt Color whatever you want to call it which was a shoe that I spent a couple of months trying to acquire I arguably at the time overpaid for it but now I don't think I overpaid for it either way I'm going to try to get another pair and back uh, but I want to talk about today what led to that transaction happening and why I actually did it because it is actually a shoe I wanted. So, $500 retail shoe. I saw it going for $900 whatever dollars and I was like, you know, I'm not going to jump in on that and I'll just wait for prices to go down. So, you know, I had bids up StockX and on GOAT. Ended up acquiring a pair for about, I think it was $800. Eleven dollars or eight hundred twenty something dollars or, or whatever. I'll put the actual price they paid up. I made a video talking about the shoe initially. Then I made a video about the shoe when I got it in September of 2020, and absolutely love that shoe. Uh, wore, wore it once in the house for a, on foot. Very dope, comfy shoe, whatever. And because of the COVID-19 virus being around, I did not actually go outside in the shoe ever or anything like that. So I never really got a chance to rock it. And I was like, you know, I'll save it for when the weather's nice, uh, people are healthy <laughs> and the sun is out or whatever. So I'm like, cool, I'll wait on it next summer for sure. Put it in the box. Sitting in the box, but I always do this whenever I acquire a shoe that I have not worn yet. I put it up for an absurd price on GOAT because uh, GOAT tends to sell shoes for a higher price. I put this shoe on GOAT for $2,000. I never thought in my life that, cause I was looking at the prices, you know, some were selling for like seven, some, I honestly, again, this is why I thought I overpaid. And I had up there for two grand, uh, a couple of pairs sold on StockX around the holidays for like a thousand, 1200, I think was the highest one I saw sell. And I just sat it on GOAT, not many sales on GOAT. I was actually the, the last sale at the time on GOAT. And then a week ago, almost exactly a week ago to me filming this video, it sold. <laughs> yeah, I sold it on, I believe last Sunday and $2,000 and I was like, really? And I was sitting here like, do I want and I opened up I went and got out of my shoe case looked at it to make sure it was you know because I did I did try it on I didn't on foot with it luckily it didn't have laces so it's not like you know, the laces were undone or anything so I looked at it I was like the insole's fine I did not open the socks I had my own toe socks it was like two grand double what I paid not wearing it it's gone <laughs> it's gone no question about it drop the shoe off Waited to see the, if the authentication would, would go through before I actually made this video. I want to make sure I cashed out and it authenticated, got to a new person, and it's gone. And I am actually cool with that. Uh, it's because it's a shoe, right? And I have three pairs of shoes with a similar look to them. Obviously, this is the, this is the one here, the jade colorway of that shoe, which is on gold for $1,500. So whoever bought the my other pair... My sale ones, you 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 get this too. It's for fifteen hundred on Goat, or hit me up on the comments and I'll give it to you for twelve. <laughs> but um, twelve hundred that is. But uh, nah. And I have the Matthew Williams MMWs. So I think about these things, what they are. They're 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 sneakers, right? And we have. As much, as much as I'd like to get a shoe for retail, like I've gotten a lot of shoes for retail, like the. Uh, you know, that are, they're very expensive right now, like Union 4s, you know, uh, Air Jordan, Maison Chateaus, which are mids, the Fearless ones, they, those sold for a lot. I've had shoes that, you know, Travis Scott low ones. Uh, I have a pair of off-white Jordan 5s. 
all of these shoes I got for retail at some point. And I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm holding on to it. I actually like the Jordan 5s. I would wear those. Uh, the Maison Chateaus, Chateau Maison, whatever. Those mids, I love those to death. I actually had two pairs. I bought one pair resale, sold both pairs. I actually let them go too early, to be honest with you. I ended up getting another pair, so I made, you know, I, I, I invest in shoes at the end of the day, so that's my thing. I invest in them, I wear a lot of them. Uh, I have uh, three pairs of Union 4s, two black, and one uh, guava, and I want to get a guava size 12 personal, so I'm, I'm, I know the prices are crazy right now. I should have just pulled the trigger when they first dropped, but uh, I was a little hesitant, and now I regret it. But at the end of the day, you know, I get a couple of checks, I'll be like, eh, okay, I'll go buy it. Uh, maybe I'll treat myself for my birthday, but it's investing at the end of the day in these things because yes i do this youtube channel i have other things that i do i have a full running business i have a full-time job i doing a lot of stuff and if i wanted that shoe that badly and i thought it was that amazing i would have worn it already outside regardless of weather or health conditions or whatever because you know the minute i got my off-white rubber dunks i threw those on the feet and i was out the door uh, my ispa 720s all these all these types of shoes that i i've been like looking for or whatever but I, my day-to-day -day shoe is an ultra boost now parlay the black pair the 2020 parlays I lo I lo those are my every days right now i got them on sale so it's like i kind of I, I rock these everyday shoes and then i have like these special ones the grail shoe like that ispa road warrior was something to look at and i held it for seven eight months yeah, yeah. and somebody else wanted it more than i did because i was willing to let it go for an obscene amount of money i doubled my investment on it trends in the marketplace of fashion and and apparel sneakers whatever um is changing and just like how the stock market's changing and we're looking at like that evolution right in front of us from the advent of shoes like the yeezy and how kanye's ultra modern twist on shoes created hype around not only his brand but also other ultra modern shoes like the ispa road warriors and things like uh mmw's you know the way those things look or any of the high fashion types of shoes that balenciaga triple s's things that look bulky and ultra modern or whatever that's the new wave and if you're investing in sneakers right now me selling a ISPA Road Warrior, which was a rare shoe, 5,000 pairs made, I believe, that only somebody who is either really crazy, loves that shoe, would, would buy it, or somebody who's following trends and sees somebody else with it and is like, I want that and got money and buys it, which I, I would, I would assume, I'm assuming a celebrity bought my shoe, yeah, like Kanye West or something like that, because Kanye wears my size, by the way, size 12. But... He loves that shoe. He had a pair, I believe, in a, in a, in a, and he took pictures. That's where the hype came from for that shoe. But I'm thinking he probably bought another pair because two grand, like, it's it's wild. Like, I can't imagine anybody because the price just flipped. That's double what it's going for on the open market. And they could have bought it on StockX because the highest price on StockX is 1200. It'll probably go up if this video goes somewhere viral or whatever. So long story short, yeah, there is a market for it. And just like anything else, those types of shoes, these types of ultra modern double stack zoom, uh, uh, you know, midfoot, crazy ass back heels, sh crazy straps, all this stuff is going to be the way camel toe. You know, it's gonna be a wave, and I've 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 ridden that wave. I have some shoes like that. The off-white rubber dunk is sort of like a modern-looking. You know, it's it's a mashup of two different shoes, a dunk and some whatever shoe, but um, that Nike made. But it is those types of shoes with those modern type of aesthetics are gonna be the next thing, in my opinion. So I'm you know as they come out. Yeah, I'm gonna if I like them and they're 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 rare or limited, uh, what have you, I'm gonna buy them. You know, like there's there's always bit there's there's always gonna be a marketplace for your Jordan ones, your off white uh, uh, deconstructed shoes, whatever, all that type of stuff. Any 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 rare um, collab, you know, unions and all that. But the biggest thing out there right now, 
I'm telling you, from an investment standpoint, is the modern looking shoe, the robot looking shoe, this type of shoe right here. Matthew M. Williamson, MMW, Zoom, Fours, this guy, Road Warriors, anything ISPA right now. Uh, I would even say things like the um, Ultra Boost 4Ds, Pharrell's line from uh, from Adidas, like things like that, like MMDs that he got out there. Anything like that will, uh, and obviously Yeezys, as Yeezy starts to put out new silhouettes, those things are going to be really, really, really what's going to captivate the marketplace and blow up from a resale perspective in the near future, in my opinion. And they fluctuate as the market changes. So look out for that. Just wanted to give you all an update. I sold a Grail. I, you know, so <laughs> you all see me jocking that shoe for a while. I have three videos out on it. Three. This is my fourth one about it, but it's gone now. I still got this one. It, it, it matches something. I like it too. Still, it's still a good shoe. So this might, this might bless the feet. <laughs> so. Yeah, tell me what you think about that. My, my prediction of the what the next wave will be in the marketplace. Uh, give me an idea of what we need to talk about next. Check you on the next one. Peace.